Welcome back. We're all on a quest to find a better life and understanding of everything that we do. Some people go to yoga and they say that it gives them the joy. But have you ever asked yourself, what is yoga? There's Bikram yoga, you name it, there are different types of yogas. But there's one that I found called Jiva Mukti. I'm sitting with Jay Mack. He is the director and the producer of a film called What's Real? The Real Story of Jiva Mukti Yoga. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Kani. What is yoga? Oh, good question. Um, well, the definition of yoga is a coming together, a union, a Sanskrit word. Um, yoga means to come together. And I guess what that means then for the individual is trying to find that inner peace, connecting with that inner peace that we know exists within. But we spend most of our lives looking out there for it. When, yes. And then we come to yoga and we meditate and we realize, oh, it's there. The whole time I was searching, yes. it's actually right there with me. So, Do I need to be flexible to do yoga? Because the things that we see in pictures, uh -huh. some people think, but how, how do they, like a chin stand, how, mm -hmm. do, how do they achieve that? Well, I guess it's, it's from years of practice. Uh, we like to look at the yoga asana that most people know in the West. It's called asana. Um, it's a Sanskrit word for pose. Uh, taking the pose and this is uh, how most people come into the practice of yoga there's actually eight steps to it and that would be the first step that most people find and uh, so we say come to yoga yes. that's how you get flexible the body flexibility is the first step but actually what you're aiming for is mind flexibility um, because we live in an age where our mind is so scattered and our True. thoughts control us True. Material things control us. Yes. Um, not that there's anything wrong with having a beautiful house and a beautiful car. Yes. But these things can control us and create a lot of suffering in our lives. Um, You've made a film about the Chivak Mukti correct, yoga. Yeah. It must be a silent film because yoga is very quiet <laughs> and not much movement. So it must be a very... There are moments uh, of stillness. Yes. Uh, a lot of um, time lapse photography from around the world that we captured in most of the environments that we're in. Um, but no, there's a lot of music. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's lots of movement. And we got to interview some really interesting people, some uh, philosophers, some musicians, some poets, uh, you know, from around the world, designers and the likes of Russell Simmons, who himself is... Uh, you know, he is an yes, advocate. He's, he's advocate, vegan too. Correct. And yes. Advocate for veganism, yeah. for animal rights, for meditation, mm. uh, for the betterment of not just the self, but communities that we live in. So it's, wow. it really has been a journey. And that was part of the reason why my wife, my company, and uh, all the people that have helped me on this film, that's why we decided to do it, because there was a story there. And uh, so we've decided to make a film and share it. That's the so, so cool. Yeah. Well, we have the trailer for you to see and, and try and understand what this film is about. Let's check it out. They taught yoga when it wasn't popular. There were no yoga studios. It was weird. It was what they did elsewhere. I walked out and I was floating. I was just enraptured. There's something going on here. This is more than just an alternative to Pilates. So Jiva Muti was the first yoga brand. It created a whole world onto its own. They made you want to practice yoga and they pushed your buttons at the same time. Yoga is not just about sitting quietly in your lotus posture, meditating. Yoga isn't just what you do on the mat. All of us need to be participants in this world. Yoga is not to get out of this world, it's to get into it. What you do has an impression on the lives and the well-being of others around you. This awareness we have, this consciousness we have, is completely shared. That every living being, wherever there's life, there is a sacred child of God. We're all one. There's only one. It's all one thing here. Any way you want to say one, it, that's what it is. We're so busy out there in the blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, we only have ourselves. <laughs> They've helped countless people realize where happiness really comes from. After you meditate and after you do yoga, you want the world to be a better place. And it attracts you and it pulls you in and you think, oh, I want to feel that more. 
they've inspired so many others to inspire. To make a change in the world and stay really positive about what was possible in our world. With the purpose to change the course of humanity. Now we're at a point in time when we have so many choices. We can be the sort of people we want to be. I found that the best thing that I can do is live as beautifully as possible. It's all temporary. We get to use these bodies for a while, we get to enjoy the earth for a while, and it will all go back to dust. So what are you going to do today? Welcome back. Wow. What is real? Makes you want to stop everything that you're doing and find them, right? Wow. Yes. It's a movement. <laughs> It's a uh, tribe. It's a tribe, yeah, a global tribe. We're, um, we're trying to change the perception, the, the global perception that we're separate. We're not separate. Yes. Whatever I do is going to affect you, and whatever Connie does is going to affect me. Yeah. And I think this is the biggest problem we have in the society of ours right now, is the separation causing war, conflict, uh, racism. We are in a tough um, yeah. time at the moment. I mean, the yeah. earth is crying. I think Absolutely. there's just so much pain around earth. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully through these amazing people we got to interview, um, you know, a lot of people can look at celebrities and go, well, if they're saying it, then maybe I should try it. Yeah. So we're hoping... Because you had big players. I mean, I saw Donna Karen. Yeah, Russell Simmons yes. is an amazing guy. And, um, but how yeah. many countries did you go to? We were in the three in the end, um, including South Africa was four. Um, yes. Costa Rica is one of the locations that they do teacher training in now. India is the second location. And uh, we were in the States for quite some time. A lot of those people you saw on there, mm. West Coast, East Coast, mm. Mm. Costa Rica, South America, and uh, South Africa. And uh, some of it's in Germany and, uh, yeah, some was also Canada. But isn't yoga, like, um, very private to um, get people to allow you into that space? with cameras, yeah. um, how did you convince them? Because I think yoga is one of those personal things where you want to be in a certain position but on your own because you need the, the stillness. I think um, a lot of the people that we interviewed there realized that uh, in order to change uh, mindsets, they need to allow the public in. And um, so thank goodness they allowed us in. You know, mm. the likes of Russell Simmons, he only had a half an hour for us. Awesome. Um, you know, it's that moment where you meet someone that you've read about, you've listened to their music, what do you say to them? Yes. What's your opening question? Yeah. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a guy like I am, and uh, he's got things and needs to do things in a day, and, yeah, yeah. he was a great guy, and just uh, let us in. He opened up his office to us. And, wow. Yeah, it was great. Well, J. Mac, I always say that through conversation and meeting people, you always take out something spiritually from it. Yeah. What was um, your spiritual experience of this whole um, project? Um, I started off wondering about the concept of love being real. Love's the only thing that's truly real, right? Um, that was what came across. Uh, many people told me when I asked the question to them, family, friends, most of them, 90% said love, love is real. Is it real? I'm still on the fence on this one. I mean, We've all had our I'm heart broken. I'm also trying to find, is it, is it real? Is it, is, it a, is it something? I guess at the end of the day, the one thing that really truly resonated with me was from my teachers there and why you saw her at the end there. Um, what doesn't change is real. So I guess you can say in a sense love then is real because your love for your mom or your love for your dad mm. doesn't change. So mm. that is real. Mm. And uh, that stems back to like some really ancient texts from the yes. Bhagavad Gita. Yes. Um, so yeah, I guess love is real. Yeah. Um, but I also felt that a sense of community is real deep down inside in all of these places that I uh, visited with, you know, my friends. Because at the end of the day, these were friends that helped me create this film. Yes. We did an Indiegogo campaign, and it was a community that helped us create this. Wow. And uh, so, yeah, I think a community, and I think a lot of the times we forget about yes. that community, mm. and there's that separation that creeps in. Wow. So, yeah, community. What type of mindset um, should um, people that are going to see the film go into the film with? An open mindset. Okay. Um, you know, part of my family that's coming to watch is hugely religious, 
uh, we get a lot of people that come to the studio. And this is, yoga is a stepping stone to religion. It is not a religion. It's a movement, like you said. It's mm. a movement to help you, whatever you believe to be true to you, uh, whatever that is. So we see it as a stepping stone. And um, so come with an open mindset, come with an open mindset to learn something new, yes. to question, to debate with family and friends. Because yes. I think in this day and age, we have to be open to debating. Yes. Science is always unwrapping mm. Mm. what truly exists. Mm. And um, what we thought existed a year ago is totally different today. But aren't you afraid? Because I'm, I'm starting to think we're, we're becoming too... I'm exposed to everything, yeah. like the end, if there is an end, uh -huh. is, is nigh, because, we, you know, we're starting to see what things really are. Yep. Well, I worried about that a lot, and in the beginning, that's what got me into practicing yoga. I started practicing yoga asana through uh, meditation, and the meditation quietens, quietens the mind. Um, and that process of quietening the mind actually makes you realize that the only thing that's really uh, that you really need to worry about mm. is this moment. Oh. Because the past, 10 oh. seconds ago, is gone already. Yeah. The future is still coming, still yeah. coming, still yeah. coming. So whatever I say and do right now is what's going to cause my karma, you know? So there's nothing I can do about my past. I can just... You spoke about karma, sorry. Correct, yeah. <laughs> karma. Uh-huh. Is it really as bad as people say it is? Because well, karma's got like, we respect <laughs> karma. Like, karma walks in, we sit down. Totally. Oh, I think Radiohead put it down well. Karma police, you know, it's going to get you. It's going to get but, you. Um, your karma is just a Sanskrit word again for action. And whatever your action is right here, right now, if it's done with the right intention, it means your future actions are going to be fruitful. Uh, if you have the wrong intention right here, right now, you're gonna have a crap karma. <laughs> ooh, ooh. So this film is gonna premiere um, in New York, Cape Town and Johannesburg. Could you yeah. give me the dates so that people know and where to see sure. it? Sure, uh, we premiered last night in New York, teleported back to be here with you. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, so uh, Cape Town, the 16th of September at the Lobby of Theater. Yes. And then Johannesburg, Heritage Weekend, 23rd of September at the Bioscope. I'm definitely going to be there. And I know that you have some yoga classes in um, Cape Town. We do. Could wow. you give me um, some information and how people that are watching right now could get a hold of you as well? Absolutely. Um, my wife and I own a studio in the Woodstock Exchange called Air Yoga. And we teach Jiva Mukti classes. We teach excuse me, Ashtanga classes. And um, so you can get in touch with us at info at airyoga.ca.za. And we'd love to host you at our studio. Well, I've been, I went, I tried it out, and I'll be honest with you, I got emotional. I don't know why. I think the silence just got me closer to me, mm -hmm. and I realized that, wow, okay, we have some cleaning up to do, and I had to stop it because the cameras were here, and it was real. I'm definitely coming back. You said to me I need to do it like six times Well, the Ashtangis do it six times a week, wow. I think. That's why I also went for Jiva Mukti because... What's Ashtanga? So Ashtanga is... Uh, Ashtanga. Ashtanga is uh, a six-day a week practice. It's practiced Mysore style at our studio. There's various forms of Ashtanga, but the Mysore style is six days a week, and you practice in the mornings, um, preferably before the sun comes up. And um, our lineage of Jiva Mukti is stemmed from Ashtanga. One of the gurus, uh, Sri K. Patabi Joyce, uh, was one of the the gurus of uh, Jiva Mukti's founders, Sharon and David. So we teach, the only thing we do different is that we teach with music and we, we teach with, uh, you know, we, we call it an integral yes. form of yoga, yes. whereas Ashtanga is more more self-practice. I'm probably going to get wrapped over the knuckles by the Ashtangi community, yeah. but <laughs> it's watching. more self-practice. There's um, We guide our students through a class, um, through, uh, you know, a teacher, the front yes. of class, yes. teaching the sequences, whereas Ashtanga is a set sequence of events. Wow, well, I'll see you at the studio, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And I will be checking out what is real. Thank you, Connie. The question to you guys at home is, what is love? Is it a real thing? Does it exist? Hashtag The Weekend Edition. Facebook, Weekend Edition. Twitter, Instagram, The Weekend on 3. See you after the break. It's a weekend.